Do you want to learn how to make your traditional screencasts really stand out? Use green screen video. This is a great way for your viewers to get to see your eyes and your smile and to really connect with you. This is a super way to make your screencasts really stand out and be different from all the others. And the best thing is, iMovie 09 with its green screen effect makes this really easy. Now I have to tell you, this is a more advanced effect and it requires a lot more planning and work than a traditional screencast. If you're new to screencasting or if you just need to get something done in a hurry, you may want to stick with the easier picture-in-picture -picture effect. But if you're ready to take your screencasts to the next level, here's a five-step process to help you incorporate green screen video into your screencasts. To avoid repeating yourself and having your screencast sound disjointed, you need to plan what you're going to say and when you're going to say it. And the best way to do that is with a storyboard. Use Keynote to create your storyboard. Lay out each scene as a slide, add graphics, animations, and type your script in the speaker notes. Then you can export each one of these slides as a TIFF file or export the entire presentation as a movie to incorporate into your screencast. With your storyboard complete, begin recording your screencast. Make sure you add pauses in between steps and scenes so it's easier to cut and make those edits to your video. Remember, smaller chunk videos are a lot easier to use than one big large video. When you've finished recording, resize your screencast canvas to the same size and aspect ratio as your targeted iMovie. In my case, I crop my screencast to 1280 by 720. I add production values like pans, zooms, perspective, and text boxes based upon my dimensions. When I'm satisfied, I export my screencast using the Apple Intermediate Codec or another low compression setting. With your screencast complete, it's now time to capture your green screen video. I happen to use a muslin pinned to my wall. Now you can find this on eBay or at a local fabric store. Make sure that you have good lighting and that the wall is well lit as well. And instead of using your webcam, I encourage you to use a camcorder that has a mic in jack so you can use a lapel microphone. Now for the iMovie portion. In your preferences, make sure you have your advanced settings selected in iMovie. Then create a new event. Import your screencast and your green screen video into this event. Then create a new project. What you want to do next is you want to select your screencast portion of the video. Bring that down to the project storyboard. Then select and drag your green screen video and place that over the screencast video. From the pop-up menu, select the green screen option. Your video now appears over your screencast. Drag the green screen clip horizontally to adjust the starting location. You can crop and apply color correction to the green screen video through the video adjustments panel. And to accelerate clip settings, copy and paste the adjustments between your green screen clips. After you've created your green screen footage, there are three refinements you may want to include. First, you may want to add a freeze frame to your screencast video. This is great if you have an introduction and you want to make sure that your introduction doesn't talk over your screencast. When you create your freeze frame, give yourself plenty of length. Then use the trim to playhead command to trim that extra freeze frame video. The second refinement you may want to consider is exporting your movie and then re-importing it so you can smooth out the transitions on your green screen overlays. 
iMovie doesn't allow you to have transitions between green screen clips, so this is a way you can get around it. And the third refinement you may want to consider is go ahead and add transitions between the clips and at the beginning and end of your movie. And then finally, if you want, add an audio track that plays underneath it. So there you have it, a five-step process that'll really make your screencasts pop by leveraging the green screen effect in iMovie along with your screencasts. Hey, I hope you got some creative ideas out of this presentation, and I look forward to seeing your screencasts soon. Until next time, bye-bye.